This is Rock Slapping Champions. Player 1, playing Artanis. We have Hans. And player 2, playing Nova. We have Tangor. So let's have a look at the masteries while we get set up. Wait, what? So, Hans is Sans Mastery. He's a level 253 commander, but he has not allocated any of his mastery points into this, which is very, very interesting. Nova, on the other hand, has 3 points into the airstrike reduction, 15 15 into the primary ability and the unit attack speed mastery, and then a 20 10 split. Pretty much the optimal splits here. This one is basically a choice, so I think they just wanted to balance this out. So, this is very interesting. There are no mastery points allocated for this commander, which is weird more than anything. I do do on my streams non mastery plays, but. There is, that is completely, there is a different reason for that, but we can see that Artanis has already put down two pylons and he's putting down a gateway and a forge in the middle of the map, which is again an interesting decision. We have two more refinery, two assimilators coming down and these probes are going to be chilling here, doing basically nothing but admiring the black hole that has been created as these things start to warp in. Oh dear. So we have another two probes that are basically waiting at the Nexus. They are basically just chilling, talking, discussing their plan on how to mine. And now these probes do get moved towards the Assimilator, which is again weird because the intent was basically I'm going to make these probes and then I'm not going to move them until the Assimilator is done. Just again really, really weird. And now we have another Photon Cannon, two Photon Cannons. Is there going to be a third photon cannon? You know you want to put a down a third photon cannon. Because three is the magic number. There we go. There's the third photon cannon in the semi front line here. So Artanis is semi going to death on this map, which is, again, a very unique strategy. We have three zealots that are going to be clearing up their expansion. Nova is using a bunch of marauders to clear her expansion as well. Clearing up the gas rocks first so she gets access to her gas units. And that is basically efficient play here. So. We have now the first attack wave that is coming up, and they will be moving towards the central lock. But Nova is already ready, already in stealth mode, and she will be ready to start picking off this attack wave part by part. The rocks have been cleared, still no expansion uh, for Artanis, but Nova is already ready to start attacking this, and these Hellions do end up aggroing these cannons, and again, the Raven does spot Nova, casts a Seeker Missile, and ends up blinking out of the way, and now she'll be ready to start pushing into this enemy camp here. So there's a bunch of, there's a siege tank and a bunch of marauders, but it's not really an issue. Nova can de-aggro the seeker missile by just blinking, so she's gonna end up one shy all of this. And see how she's abusing the AI over there. So she moves next to the siege tank to cause it to unsiege, and then once she, once the siege tank unsieges, she moves away from that siege tank to cause the AI to re-siege up, and that way she's not really taking unnecessary damage on the siege tank. It's a very nice play there from Nova. And we have now a bunch of units that have been created for Artanis. He's created three zealots, those were used for to clear the expansion, and he has put down two dragoons as well. And these guys are going to be chilling over here so far. And we have now a robo that is being produced by Artanis, and one extra pylon. So, nope, I lied, it's two extra pylons onto the central lock. Is he going to put down the third one? He has to put down the third one because that is the magic number. Three is always a magic number when it comes to anything in StarCraft. And he's decided to put down the gateway in the central lock as well, which is weird. Like, I have no idea what the plan is, but I am interested. Nexus is done, and Artanis is going to start producing probes out of one of these nex Nexi. He's, us he's using 16 out of 21, which is somewhat a little bit less than optimal, but the optimal number is usually 18. And if you want to know why, you can go check the mining the mining guide here on StarcraftGoUp.com. But what's interesting is he's only producing the probes out of one Nexus. He's not producing it out of the other one. This probe now is... I, I, I'm 100% certain that... Okay, now. I was going to say that this probe is just going to sit here until the assimilator is done, but apparently... That is not true. I'm not really sure what is the plan. So we have an airstrike that gets used for Nova. Nova's gonna start clearing this. 
And now Nova is going to start pushing into the side. Again, some snipes onto this battle cruiser. Nova is able to heal this. It really it comes down onto one of these marauders. And then Nova ends up sniping out this last enemy unit. And now there's one science vessel that's just casting a radius onto her marauders, which is being a little bit annoying. But again, Artanis is just basically producing out of one of these nexuses or nexi. I have no idea what the plural is, but this lock has been cleared, the southern lock is now ready for capture, and it was adding a few more units into her army, trying to heal up some of her damaged units before she starts to push in. But this attack wave now is moving towards the central lock, and there are only two dragoons and one probe, and two photon cannons I believe, but this photon cannon is not going to be done yet, but it's going to start getting aggroed by Iman's units I think. With a, maybe even some switching to the back here. So these two Dragoons are taking a little bit of a hammering right now. The Dragoon taking a little bit too much damage. One Dragoon ends up going down. That Photon Cannon does also end up going down. And now this other Dragoon is going to get focused down by a bunch of Hellions and a bunch of Goliaths. The Guardian Shell does end up keeping that Dragoon alive. And a bunch of Banshees have been added now from Nova to try and deal some damage to this attack whip and clean it up. So... That is very, very interesting. I'm not really sure what the plan is, but Artanas does have a couple of units already on this lock, so Nova just only has to send a bunch more units to try and cap that. And Nova wants to try and clear this next side, and this base is very, very easily clearable with one airstrike, and so I'm wondering if Nova's going to end up doing that for this point. There's a Raven over here, but that Raven is going to get the picked up, getting picked up by the Dragoon and the Fudon cannons that are in position. There is another Raven here. It may end up aggroing one of these units. So that Marauder doesn't end up getting aggroed. I don't think Nova's paying attention. Nova's looking at her base, unfortunately. But there is a Raven now to heal up these units. And that Raven being a little bit annoying, but that is okay. Now Nova's already in position. Uses a hollow decoy to get some vision. And now, yes, one airstrike will pretty much one shot everything over here. There are a few more units alive here, but Nova will end up cleaning that out with one shotgun blast. And this lock is now ready for capture. So, the southern lock has already been cleared, middle lock has been cleared, and now the western lock is ready for capture. So, Artanis will have to send someone over there to start capping this lock. But now, those are the easiest locks done. Now, these, the northern lock and the eastern lock are the more difficult ones to capture because there are a lot more enemy units and there are a lot more hybrids as well. So far, Artanis has still not used a single one of his abilities, which is also interesting because at this point, Artanis using his abilities on either the northern or the eastern lock is just going to make it so much easier for Nova to deal with. So, we're going to see what the plan is here. No Artaz is sending a probe and here he's gonna build some more pylons as well. Nova is getting ready to intercept this attack wave. I think she may be able to get away with using an airstrike to clear this, but it's going to be a little bit expensive. Maybe worth doing, but unless Nova is confident in her ability to clear it, take this attack wave at one. So it does end up sniping. There is a secret missile onto this Marauder. This Marauder does end up clumping up with the rest of the army, but Nova does end up wiping the attack wave, except that one siege tank that is still at the top there. The Ravens do end up healing, and now this lock is captured with a couple of pylons and a photon cannon, which is again an interesting strategy for Artanis. Nova uses a sabotage drone to get some vision of these units. She wants to try and clear out some of these here and the raven doing a little dance in the air but now there is another attack wave that is coming up and has captured the eastern lock so this attack wave now is going to move down i think it's going to move towards the southern the southern lock and on the southern lock we only have a bunch of units here for artanas he has four dragoons and three zealots so that attack wave does end up getting wedged i think in between some of the army units that are in this small enemy camp but now artanas is going to start getting attacked with a bunch of siege tanks on the back line and a bunch of the lights on the front line and these dragoons are taking so much damage from the shelling of the siege tanks these zealots stand no chance against Amon's army and finally that dragoon ends up going down and the airstrike comes up from Nova just in time one shots and clears the rest of this attack wave on the secret missile but this time Nova has noticed she's going to start moving towards the side. Is Artanis going to use his solar bombardment now? This is the total amount of damage absorbed by shield overcharge, so you can see that there is zero damage between seven. It's never been used at all, but I don't know if Artanis is going to end up using his his solar bombardment. It's a really good ability, and now there's a nuke as well that ends up getting dropped, and that has pretty much softened up all the enemy defenders on the top of the ramp. 
but this is going to be a little bit of an inconvenient timing because now there's another attack. But there's a hybrid dominator over here that does end up targeting Nova but with the point of, with the defensive drone that ends up keeping Nova alive and this PC has been stun locked. This attack wave now has moved into this location and there are two immortals here. Now the first orbital strikes of the mission have come down but unfortunately that is not going to be enough in keeping Artanis' army alive. His two immortals do end up going down and these siege tanks are just having their way with Artanis' dragoons. And the dragoons now are being saved temporarily by Guardian Shell. But they're not going to last too long. So far Artanis has lost three immortals, ten dragoons and three zealots on their end. I think... Was, I think, was there another use of an orbital strike? I don't think there was another orbital strike that was being utilized here. So this southern lock now has been recaptured by Amon's army, which means that Nova will have to try and recapture that herself. So Nova is going to start pushing in here. Let's try to slowly clear some of these units out. She has to be careful with these science vessels. These science vessels can end up irradiating your army, which is what happened right there. But that is okay. But now that this lock has been captured, this attack wave is going to be moving towards Nova's base. It might end up re aggroing Nova's base, but it's very possible it may just end up skipping and start attack Artanis' army here. So again, you can see there are a bunch of siege tanks. These Ragoons are just moving right past, and now Artanis has added a bunch of Tempests, and these Tempests are going to be temporarily solving this problem. But again, not before. Some of his units take a little bit of a hammering from Amon's army, so a lot of these Ragoons have been rallied through, and now Artanis has his army ready to try and cap this lock. This lock has been cleared, so it is not really an issue. So Nova has to just now clear one last lock, and still no solar bombardments used for Artanis. Solar bombardment is a really great ability, it does a lot of damage. It is a very, very strong damaging ability, so it should be utilized as much as possible, especially when pushing up ramps and clearing the locks like the northern and the eastern lock. But unfortunately, Nova is getting no assistance from her ally in that regard. This lock has been captured, still one more, and Nova now wants to go and deal with this bonus objective. So, you know, it's taking a little bit extra damage, getting a little bit of focus far down, but now there is a double pronged attack wave. This attack wave has already started to aggro Artanis' army, and these Dragoons now are going to get shelled by a bunch of siege tanks. These cannons are going to stand no chance against the line of siege tanks that is coming up, and this is also why you want to try and clear this mission as quickly as possible, because once you start getting these double pronged attack waves, this is going to be really bad. So there is an airstrike that comes up, but I don't think it has cleared up the entire attack wave, and on this side, these Tempests are being able, they are able to hold reasonably well, but again, lots of casualties here for Artanis. So we'll have a look at what the unit losses are. We're just going to get the minimap back. So we have unit losses, 7 photon cannons, 15 dragoons, 3 zealots, and 3 immortals for Artanis. So that last lock did end up getting completely wiped by, by Amon's army. So Nova needs to now start pushing back and get back to her job of trying to push these locks. There is again no one here to try and cap this lock. But over here, Artanis has decided to start building some more pylons, because pylons are key to good and adequate death on this mission. We're adding now a couple more banshees, and she will be ready to start pushing into this lock. And Artanis has a bunch of dragoons, and he's put down a stargate as well. Where is his fleet beacon? Let's, okay, so he's put his fleet beacon somewhere in the middle of the map. He's put nothing near his main, which is, again, really interesting position. I'm not really sure what's going on, but now we have another double-pronged attack wave that's coming up. And Artanis' army, I think they will be ready to defend this side, but I don't think this attack wave is going to aggro. I think it's going to move towards the central lock. So this attack wave now is going to start aggroing Artanis' army, which is, again, going to be a little bit of a problem, because he's getting double-pronged attack now by, by Amon, and lots of secret missiles onto these Dragoons. No pullback on these Dragoons. And again, more secret missiles here. Widow Mines do end up burrowing as well, and they are just going to completely start shredding through Artanis' defenses here. So very nice airstrike does end up saving a little bit of Artanis' army, but that is not before. A lot of his units do end up getting picked off. A lot of his structures do end up getting picked off as well. Lots of siege tanks, and I think there are a bunch of Widow Mines that do not really know what they want to do. I think they want to try and move a little bit. This is some of the weird spazzing out by the attack wave. But in the, in the meanwhile, Nova has ended up clearing out the side, and I think also on this side is ready to cap this lock. So this mission should be pretty much done, but these two with the mines now do end up sieging up, and they will end up hitting this Dragoon as well. And now this Dragoon has no nothing else to do other than try and attack some of these Ravens. 
23 Dragoons have gone down and 6 Immortals with 9 Photon Cannons. So again, this lock has been captured now. One last lock to clear, but there is nothing for Artanis to clear that lock. And now there is going to be a little bit of aggroing from this, but this is not the really good push. But the issue is that there is another double attack wave that is coming up. And this is going to be a problem because there is no adequate death here for Artanis. Now Artanis is going to end up losing a lot of these structures. There is an airstrike, but that airstrike is not going to be able to hit the completely split up attack wave. Reasonably decent airstrike though. There is a few orbital strikes to try and keep these things alive. But unfortunately, orbital strikes not as strong as Karax's orbital strikes. And I think... Actually, that might end up surviving. I think that one cannon... No, that cannon is not going to end up surviving. And this lock has been completely captured by Amon because there was nothing there to stop any of the attack waves. There's another airstrike, and I think that lock has been saved right now. There is a turret here from the Raven. That turret stands no chance against the Futon Cannon. But this attack wave is not done yet. It's going to start moving towards the next area, which is going to be Artanus' base, which is going to be somewhat unfortunate. Nova has to make her way back because... This is going to be a problem. Nova uses her tactical airlift to get into position and she's going to end up completely wiping that army out. So, so far we have two locks left. Artanis is ready, I think, to capture this lock. There is a ping from Nova saying, go ahead, cap, come on, cap, capture this lock. Artanis is moving his Dragoons towards the northern lock because he wants to try and cap that instead, which is, I guess, okay. Flat. Some point. Oh, I'll have to drop something over here to try and cap. She could just drop a bunch of Hellbats or some other expendable use that's not really that important, but... And he has now a bunch of army here as well, so I think this should basically be it, unless something else happens. Nova has already realized that this might actually be really bad, because Artanis might lose his army. Drops a nuke right on top of this attack wave, and now Artanis is in peril as well on this side, because there is a lot of Amon's forces, another airstrike comes down, and a bunch of orbital strikes that end up completely missing their target. So I think all those orbital strikes did end up missing, which is again really really interesting. And now this lock is going to be captured. And unfortunately, Artanis has decided I want to go and recap this lock instead of just staying over here. He pulls his army and away from capturing that lock, which is again unfortunate. He does end up warping a bunch of dragoons, but that those dragoons are not in position to try and stop that lock being captured, and that lock ends up being getting captured by Amon. Again, very unfortunate here. And another airstrike to just help Artanis so that he could try and cap this lock one more time. So I think if all goes well, they should be able to cap these two locks at the same time. So there's another ping here, and your ally requires your presence to claim the objective. But Artanis has nothing in position to move to try and cap the northern lock. So this one is going to get captured. I think he's moving his Tempest right now, the fastest moving unit in the game, the Tempest. And now there is another attack wave that is coming up towards one of these locks. And as long as Artanis just makes a beeline for the lock, it will not be a problem. As long as he doesn't end up moving his army. But now Nova's army is also in position, so she should be able to airstrike and clear out the rest of these units. So again, they have to be a little bit careful with how they choose to engage this. An airstrike, and this one's going to be a really nice airstrike, and that will one-shot pretty much everything over there. Maybe one Widowmine, random Widowmine, or a Siege Tank, but that's not really an issue. But all the locks have finally been captured, 25 minutes into the game, with no use of any solar bombardments or any of the shield overcharges, and that... It's Gigi.